No, it's not clickbait. Zero is actually equal to four billion two hundred ninety-four million nine hundred sixty-seven thousand and two hundred ninety-six. Let me prove that to you. I have this program here that asks you to input a number to which, when you add one, it becomes zero. The very first thing that will obviously come into your mind is minus one. But negative numbers are not allowed here. So what should we do here? What number should we enter here to win? Well, let's have a look at the source code. The code here looks pretty simple and obvious and nothing wrong with it. Here we have two functions, the win function and the main function. In the main function we define an unsigned integer to store the entered number. And then in a while true loop we first check if the input is a number. If not we print this error message and exit the program. Which means we can input anything except for numbers. Now if the input is a number we store it in a num variable and then we check if the number is less than a zero. If so we print these error messages and skip to the next iteration. Which means we can input negative numbers here. So if the entered number is positive, we increase it by one and then we check if it equals to zero. If so, we call the win function and break the loop. If not, we print these two messages. So now in order to beat this game, we have to find a positive number to which when we add one, it becomes zero. We neither can input negative numbers because of this check here, nor that we can input zero because any entered number will be increased by one. So what should we do here? Well, actually there's a bug in this code, with which we can circumvent these checks. I don't know if you know that or not, but I'll give you 10 seconds to find this bug. The bug here lies in the first line of the main function, here. This definition. In C, unsigned integers can store a range of numbers based on the program architecture. For example, this is the range of numbers that can be stored in a 32-bit unsigned integer. And this is the range of numbers that can be stored in a 64-bit unsigned integer. When we enter any number that is greater than the maximum number that can be stored, it overflows or wraps around to zero. Let's demonstrate this on an 8-bit unsigned integer to understand it better. The range of numbers in case of 8-bit unsigned integers is from 0 to 255. If we assign 256 to this 8-bit unsigned integer, it will overflow to 0. If we set it to 257, it will overflow to 1. If we set it to 258, it will overflow to 2, and so on. This behavior can be represented with modulus arithmetic like this. X here represents the number to be assigned or the overflow, and N represents the number of bits. But why? Why any number that is greater than the maximum number in this range overflows or wraps around? Or in other words, what happens behind the scenes that causes this behavior? Well, let's take the maximum number that can be represented by an 8-bit unsigned integer, which is 255. When we represent this number in binary, it looks like this. We have 8 bits, all of them are set to 1. When we add 1 to this binary number, it goes like this. 1 plus 1 equals to 0 with a carry of 1. 1 plus 1 equals to 0 with a carry of 1. Adding all these bits together, we end up with an overflow. This overflow is set in the ninth bit, which is outside of our 8-bit range. That's why it's called an overflow. Since all of the first 8 bits are set to 0, which obviously results to 0, the decimal representation will also be 0. That's it. This is what happens behind the scenes when a number overflows to 0. We can confirm that using the C code here. So now, to beat this game, we have to enter the maximum number a 32-bit unsigned integer can store, since this is a 32-bit program. Once we enter this number, it will be increased by 1, which makes it overflow to 0, giving us the win. There is one last thing I want to confess. I did lie about negative numbers. You can actually input minus 1 and it will work too, even though there is a check here for negative numbers. Well, if you want to know why this check didn't work, watch the other video I made.